This video is brought to you by All Ball Pro, the ultimate sports rebounder. Be sure to head over to allballpro.com and don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for 10% off of your order. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today that I've actually had quite a few requests for and that is a soccer shoe lacing tips video. Now before you go ahead and comment, Josh, why are you making a video on how to tie your shoes? That's not what this video is about, but if you need to learn how to tie your shoes, there are other videos on YouTube that you can go ahead and check out. Um, basically, this video is more concerned about different ways and different tips and tricks that you can implement when lacing up your soccer shoes that are perhaps more efficient and will allow you to achieve a more comfortable fit in your shoes, which is really, really important. So go ahead and watch the video. There are some things in here that you may or may not have seen before, and hopefully you will learn something. So uh, that's pretty much it and we'll get right to the tips. One question that I get all the time on my videos is how do I make the knot look so hidden? And it's actually a very simple process. You would just tie your shoes up normally like I'm doing here and when you get to the knot you want to make the loops as long as possible while still keeping the knot intact. Now this works with a single knot or double knot. You just want to make sure your loops are as long as possible. So you can see like I've done here, I've made this part of the laces very, very short and I've made the loops very, very long. So once you have that, you're going to take your laces and you're basically just going to tuck them into the side ankle collar area of the shoe itself and that's pretty much it. You can see there's pretty much no extra bulk on the laces itself and it makes the shoe look very, very clean and just keeps them out of the way if it does annoy you a little bit. It's something that I personally like to do and I've done for a very, very long time. It's a very simple process and just to warn you guys, it does work better with certain shoes and worse with others and you may have to kind of retuck the laces every now and again when you do play. Um, but again, if you want them to be hidden, this is really the only way to do it. One problem that I'm sure everybody has experienced is their shoes losing some of their tightness after extended periods of playing time. Now this can cause slippage on the inside of your shoe, even discomfort or blistering, which is obviously something that you want to prevent. Now normally the only way to fix the problem would just be to stop and retie your shoes, but there is actually a way to lace your shoes differently that can counteract the problem altogether. Now to demonstrate as to how this fix works, I'm going to show you how most people would lace their shoes. And the tip itself really has to do with the top two lace holes, which is why I have them left undone. Now most people would lace their shoes from the inside out. So on that top lace hole, they would take their lace tip and they'd push it through from the inside of the shoe to the outside of the shoe. Now when you pull your laces tight, as you guys can see all the way through here, you're gonna notice that if I don't tie a knot, there's really nothing holding the tension of the laces. Even if I just sat here, eventually these laces will loosen up, especially if I were to start running around. Now when I start to tie my knot, that's really the only thing that's going to hold the tension. Now whether it be a double knot or a single knot, the knot itself will eventually lose some of its tension, which will cause the rest of the laces to lose its tension as well, which makes for that loose feel. Now the way to counteract the problem would be to lace your shoes at those top lace holes just a little bit differently. And this is something that you can try yourself and you definitely will feel a difference. Now instead of lacing your shoe from the inside out, you're going to go from the outside in. And it's a very, very small thing, but it makes a huge difference in the long run. So you're going to see I'm going to do the top two lace holes from the outside in. And you're going to see an immediate difference when I lace them up. When I pull them all the way through and I pull those top two lace holes, you're going to see that the upper itself really hugs these top two parts of the laces there, holding it tight even without a knot. So when I do tie that knot, instead of having just the knot holding the laces tight, I have the knot as well as these top two lace holes or the sides of the shoe actually pushing against the laces, holding everything in place. And trust me, in the long run, it makes a huge difference. Try it out yourself and let me know how it goes. One thing that is super important when it comes to lacing up your soccer shoes is to use all the lace holes provided. Now for the most part I would say that people use all the lace holes going all the way up to the top but every now and again I see people not using the top lace hole and just skipping it all together. And you can get away with it sometimes depending on the shoe, but for the most part it really is going to hurt the overall performance. It definitely will cause heel slippage. You'll see the upper kind of flare out there at the sides. It's not fitting like it's supposed to. And like I said, these shoes are designed to use all the lace holes to achieve a proper fit. So if you're not using all of the lace holes, I would strongly suggest lacing them up properly and using every single lace hole provided. Another problem that I'm sure a lot of you guys have run into is that the laces on your soccer shoes are just too long. Now obviously this depends on the model. The Adidas Copa Mundial like I have here is a really great example, but there are two ways to kind of counteract that extra length 
that you really have to manage by wrapping around the shoe in order to really deal with the extra length on the laces. Now the first and most common way to deal with it is just to wrap your laces around the midfoot there so they kind of crisscross off the bottom as you guys can see. Now this way is okay, a lot of people use this method, but I'm personally not a big fan of it, mainly because it does pinch the midfoot a little bit and cause a little bit of a restrictive feel. Now what I like to do is wrap the shoes around the back heel studs, as you guys can see there. And it's the same method you would use. You would just wrap them right around those back heel studs, or depending on the stud pattern, it's still gonna stay there. It's not gonna damage the laces, just like it won't through the midfoot. And it causes all the pressure to kind of be dispersed on the outside of your ankle slash heel area, which doesn't cause any pressure on your foot, which is definitely a good thing. And to me, it just feels a little bit more comfortable. So you kind of get the same thing achieved, but, in a more comfortable feel and you don't have any laces going through the middle of your foot or through any parts of the foot that are going to be making contact with the ball. So those are the two ways to manage your laces if you want to just keep the same ones. Another great way to solve this problem is just to swap them out for a shorter pair of laces. All right guys, that's it for my lacing tips and tricks video for soccer shoes. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you guys do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. Um, I also have a t-shirt store now, so if you guys do want to buy a soccer reviews for you t-shirt, you can go ahead and find that link down below in the description, as well as links to all of the latest social media platforms that I'm on, such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, thanks for watching.